Today I am talking about how to maximize your energy levels so you can stay productive and alert and you don't crash and burn halfway through the day. I have five top tips to keep you going. Goodbye afternoon slump. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura from How To Get Your Shit Together and I help you get organized, get motivated and increase your productivity. So I think we all know that feeling where you get to the afternoon and you have just run out of steam. Or you finish work and you just can't face into anything else. Your energy levels are depleted, but guess what? Shit still needs to get done. Dishwasher still needs to be emptied. The clothes won't fold themselves. And the young kids won't feed themselves. More's the pity. You just need to summon a little more energy. Have some saved up in the tank, ready to deploy so you can finish the dusting. So here are my top five tips for keeping your energy levels as high as possible throughout the day. Number five is so important and just isn't talked about enough. One, ride the waves. Get your hardest task done when your energy levels and your focus are at their highest. Usually this is after a long restorative rest, like a good night's sleep. That is when your brain and your body are both at their freshest. Don't spend that time trying to slay the email dragon or flittering away your focus on trivial things. Oh, there's a little squirrel outside. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. You should be working with the ebb and flow of your energy, scheduling in your hardest tasks for when your energy is at its peak, and then the mindless, boring admin stuff for when you are starting to run out of steam. Keep track of your peaks and your troughs. Usually they'll be pretty much the same every day, assuming your routine is pretty much the same every day. And use that information to your advantage when it comes to figuring out what types of tasks you should be doing when. Two, add in buffer time. A meeting ran longer than scheduled, the traffic was worse than usual, the kids hid your keys. We all come up against those unexpected and annoying delays, interruptions and distractions in our day. But by padding your schedule a little bit, adding in a few extra minutes of wiggle room, that will prevent any delays from derailing your entire day. Because just like slamming your foot on the accelerator, feeling rushed and frazzled is a surefire way to quickly drain your tank. And if everything somehow runs smoothly, you've just bagged yourself some bonus time. Three, add in catch up time. Buffer time isn't always going to cut it because sometimes something big crops up. All of a sudden, it's not just a few minutes that are gone, it's an entire afternoon. Now, they say you can't expect the unexpected, but you can set aside some time to deal with it if it does happen. Block out time in your week purely to catch up on anything that you have fallen behind on. I do this for one or two afternoons every single week, and sometimes an entire weekend if I think it's going to be a pretty hectic week. And you know what? I always need it. But it means I don't waste any energy panicking about something that has cropped up unexpectedly. I know I have a little leeway to push things back. I have an empty space in my schedule that I can fill if needs be. Four, take regular breaks. Your batteries need to be topped up on a regular basis. Otherwise, they will completely empty and you will have to spend a long time waiting for them to fully recharge. Even just a few minutes every hour will work wonders for you. Think of yourself like a computer. After a while, you start to run slowly. You've got too many programs and tabs open, <laughs> guilty, and your processing speeds are just not at full capacity. Every night when we sleep, we shut down completely and that helps to clear the cache and just keep things running smoothly. But during the day, a quick reboot here and there will also help to clear out any junk files and just keep things ticking over. And take a break even if you don't think you need one. Like I said, you will last much longer overall if you are taking regular top-ups here and there than if you are just pushing through your productivity dropping with each passing second until you are completely drained. Observe, regular top-ups versus none. You crash and burn much more quickly. Science. Five, alternating tasks. This is something that I started implementing maybe a year or more ago, and since I did, my productivity has soared. There are basically two types of energy that you have, one for completing physical tasks and one for completing mental tasks. 
Now, often you will have a task that requires both, but usually it's more one than the other. When you are planning your day, look at each task and determine what type of energy it requires. So for me, writing requires a lot of mental energy, but very little physical effort. On the flip side, cleaning requires a lot of physical effort, but very little in the way of mental output. So I alternate those. I write for about 45 minutes and then I do some cleaning or some other chores for about 15 minutes. So if you are physically tired, then sit or lie down and engage your mental faculties if they are still reasonably alert. Maybe make some phone calls, work through your emails, do some research or brainstorming, etc. When you are doing a mainly mental task, your body can recharge. Similarly, if your brain is mush, but your body is still in good shape, then get some autopilot tasks done cleaning, running errands, that sort of thing. When you're doing those types of physical tasks, your brain is taking a bit of a breather. So alternate your tasks to keep both types of energy topped up on a regular basis. Use one while recharging the other. But you are still going to need to take complete rest breaks every now and again, like we discussed earlier. By doing the hardest work when you are most alert, by padding your schedule with buffer time, catch up time and regular breaks, and by alternating between your tasks, you are ensuring that you will keep your energy levels higher for longer. That means that you can come home after work and cook yourself a healthy meal rather than reaching for the takeaway menu. You can spend some quality time with your kids rather than needing to crash out on the couch. And you can make sure that you are still motivated to pursue your big dreams, even when you've spent the day doing the boring stuff. Give this video a thumbs up if you are going to try any of these tips and let me know which one in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I upload new videos every Thursday to help you live a more energized and vibrant life. Click the bell beside it to be notified every time I have a new upload. Until next time, Congratulations on giving your brain a bit of a break by watching YouTube videos. Now get that body back to work. Gareth Mila Mahagwev, August Becky Mishif Shikalua. Slon!